Hey up everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History channel. Tonight's video is going to be episode 5 of the Rugby of the Week Awards. If you're new to the channel, this is an award that I give out every week, every Sunday. It's an award given to the person, it can be a club, it can be anyone um, associated with Rugby League that does a really daft thing, does something daft, says something daft, um, acts in a daft way do summit on or off the field that I consider to be the, the daftest moment of the week and I give them the Noopty of the Week awards and if you don't know what a Noopty is it's just another word for an idiot <laughs> so this week's been really really busy um, there's been quite a few things that have happened this week um, on and off the field there's been a lot of daft things that have happened and it's this has probably been the toughest Noopty of the Week that I've had to do so far um, there's quite a few nominations and uh, as I said, I thought about it today and I think the winner this week of the Noob Day of the Week Award is going to go to the Brisbane Broncos as a club. Um, so if you haven't already known, there was an incident where a bunch of the players, I think about 10 players, went to a pub in one of the suburbs in Brisbane and they broke the protocols which are set out for all the clubs and all the players and it was investigated by the police now they've been all found to be not guilty of, of breaching any um, potential COVID-19 guidelines but the fact that they're out in the first place and there could have been a breach and it could have thrown the competition in jeopardy is why they're going to win the Noob of the Week award and the reason why that they're going to win it is because can you imagine the ramifications if a couple of the players tested positive or something bad happened out of them going to the pub? Can you imagine if the NRL just turned around and says, look, we're going to cancel the competition and everything's going to be null and void and we'll see us all back in 2021. Can you imagine how angry the other 15 clubs would be? Can you imagine the, the fallout from it? Especially clubs like Penrith, who are top of the table at the moment, and then you've got Parramatta in third place, and then you've also got some other clubs like Cronulla and South in the finals. Can you imagine if they missed out and then the season was it, it meant now? What would happen there? And what would happen for next year? And for Brisbane to go out, the, the players, for them to go out and put the whole competition in jeopardy just because they want to go out and have a good time. It's it's a fucking it's just daft. It just beggars belief why they would do that. I mean, I've said it in the, in a couple of other videos. How hard is it just to follow the protocols and just do the right thing? I know that some people might want to go out and they they might want to have a good time, but just this is just a short term pain for a long term gain. I I don't want to see people, especially players and clubs putting the whole competition in jeopardy just because they want to be selfish and only think about themselves. So that's who's going to win the Nupli of the Week award this week. It's going to be the Brisbane Broncos. But we'll go through some of the other nominations as well. First, we had Kevin Proctor for the alleged bite in this incident on Sean Johnson. Now, at the time, the goal course were 12 all with Kunul at Cogru Oval. The game was in the balance when Kevin Proctor did this when he thought that Sean Johnson's arm was a piece of fried chicken. And um, Kevin Proctor steadfastly denied that he did any biting, but I've looked at the replay a couple of times and you can definitely tell that he's had a bit of a nibble on the arm of Sean Johnson, so he's going to have a lot to answer for. Also, you had Joseph Paolo. Um, I think his real name, it's it's some other name, but you've got, I think he's, he's a... The name that he used when he was playing was Junior Paolo. And he was a, a Parramatta player that played for us about 10 to 12 years ago. Well, this week he was sentenced to 17 years in jail for cocaine smuggling. He was planning to smuggle a ton of cocaine in the Sydney. So he was caught, he was tried and he was found guilty of that. And now he's got 17 years in jail. What a bell end. Um, the next on the list is Kyle Felt. North Queensland were winning against South Sydney over the weekend. They were in a, a position where they more than likely were going to win the match. 
And with two minutes left, Kyle Felt tries to strip the ball in a two-man tackle from one of the South Sydney players. And that resulted in South Sydney getting the penalty goal, kicking that and then kicking a the field goal to win the game. The next player on the list, or instant on the list, is Jeremy Marshall King. Now, if this wouldn't have turned out to be a try, he, he might have won the Nope Day of the Week award, but he, he made a break in the second half against the West Tigers, and he got towards the line. All he had to do was just put the ball over the line. And then for some reason, he passed the ball to Eden Tobin and said, here, you have, you have a try, and, and Eden Tobin just barely got the ball over the line. It was really lucky. He had to kind of push the ball up against his chest and put it over the line. And it, some of the commentators were going, what the fuck are you thinking? You know, you should have just put the ball over the line yourself. Instead, he gave it to Aidan Tobin for some reason. Maybe he felt sorry for him. And the next uh, thing on the list I want to talk about is the winner of the Noob Day of the Week award from, I think, a couple of weeks ago. I hate the Power Matter Reels, um, a.k.a. Fred Allen, who's a Canterbury supporter who runs the page. He um, was posting memes the moment that we lost against St George on um, Friday night. And he was going, ha ha, power matters fucking shape, power matters this, power matters that. And I'm thinking, fuck, you're a daft cunt, aren't you? Like, fucking, you're bottom of the table. Canterbury's bottom of the table and you're still making memes saying power matters shape. We're third, you're last. Can't you get that through your thick head? And the, the final nomination that I was looking at during the week happened after the power matter game on Friday night. And it comes from this Facebook user by the name of Emmett Trina. And he posted, I will keep seeing it. The Power Matter Reels are the most overrated team in the NRL. Any side in the top four will run over, run over them. Newcastle, Cronulla and South will all, uh, can all beat them. They, uh, they will be one and done in the playoffs. And I'm thinking, uh, we've already beat fucking Cronulla and Newcastle, daft cunt. So... <laughs> Two of the teams that you mentioned that you said that would beat us, we've, we've beaten. So I don't know what the fuck you're going on about. Like, some, uh, Sometimes I think when people post on Facebook, they don't think about what they're posting. They just go, eh, and then they just type away and they don't think about the ramifications. They don't think about what's actually happening in the moment. They just type it and post it. And especially with this fucker. I don't know what he was thinking there, but that's just a daft thing to see, especially when we've beaten two of those clubs. So anyway, that's me, Nobody of the Week Award, episode 5. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button. If you're enjoying the content that I'm making on the channel, click that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get an email when I do a new video. As always, everyone, I hope you enjoy the week. And I'll catch us all later in the next video. Alright, ta-ra.